Okay, so in this video we'll be showing you how to correctly assemble your power supply and all the accompanying elements to make your LED sign function properly. So you will receive a power supply such as this. You will receive a controller. It may look like this or it may look like this. And you will receive your sign with LEDs and then there'll be wire, um, a few feet of wire hanging off the sign. So the proper order to assemble these is as follows. So we have our power supply here. So the way this works is there's a connector here. So this connector mates up with your controller like so and then you will also receive this adapter that will allow you to mate the controller to your LEDs so the thing to keep in mind here is there's a little red arrow as you can see and that arrow has to correspond with this arrow on the actual controller on the sorry on the actual connector so in this case it would be like this so you can see both arrows are lining up and both holes here the, there you go this this particular controller has an extra channel so what you would have to do is not worry about that just make sure it focuses arrow to arrow here if you have this kind of controller it's the same kind of thing this one has four channels and you can see the W is the, the grounding and then green, red, blue. So in this case, the black channel right here would mate up with this arrow. So it would look something like this. Now in order to connect these wires to your LED wires that are coming off your letters there's two options you can either solder these in place which is the preferred method and I think it has the best connection so you would get some shrink tubing slip a little bit of shrink tubing on here maybe about a centimeter half an inch that much you would slip it on you would solder your wire so in this case it would be blue to blue and then you would slip the shrink tubing over top and then shrink it closed to make sure that these wires aren't touching otherwise you may get some unexpected results so you would just take this solder each one shrink tube it solder shrink tube solder shrink tube until you have everything connected and then you could possibly also wrap it up with some electrical tape once everything is isolated so the channels do not touch additionally if you're using morettes which is another option not the recommended option but it may work as well you would need to strip some of this wire here an additional I don't know maybe half inch for each one so that you can also match up with these ones so that you have a nice equal distance on both wires and they're both the same color and then you take your moret and then you would twist them together like so now obviously when you're doing this you're going to have a bunch of letters more than one so you're going to have a bunch of cables going all into one connector so that's something to keep in mind so it will probably be a lot easier to twist together um, so those are the two options and they both work I just have a preferred method of using the soldering technique as it is a little bit stronger and more secure so if you ever have any kind of installation issues where the sign is flickering or if you're installing it it works and then you go back and it doesn't work it's probably due to these connectors where they might have jostled and the connection might have gone loose and 
So that's why soldering them together is always much better. And there you have it. That concludes the connectivity of your LED circuit.